Trackside here at Gloucester Park with uh, top young junior driver Dylan Edgerton Green. He's got a good book of drives over the weekend. Firstly, having a look at the Bunbury meeting. First drive is first up from a spell. Better's gift on the outside of the back line. Uh, seems to have a bit of ability. Nice pickup drive for yourself, deal for Bob Melsop. Yeah, no, nah, it, um, it is a nice pickup drive there. Bob whacks me on a few when he uh, has a bit of work to do at the trot, so he gives me the steers. And uh, hopefully, first up for a spell, we can get a nice handy run and uh, be right in it at the finish. Second drive is the Confederate Lady Amir. She's in a pretty uh, hot sort of race. It's a good field. She hasn't got too much gate speed and can't do much work in her races, but uh, things fall into place for her. Do you see her earning? Yeah, well, being that that field's quite hot, there um, should be a fair bit of pace on early, so if we can find a little hole and just get a nice little cuddly run, she can usually hit the line pretty quick over the last 200 and be finishing into it. And your third drive is uh, Levi Judd. He was a very good run at uh, Narragin last start. Took uh, all the pressure and he still run fifth and only just missed a place. So uh, you must be happy with how he's coming along. He's getting ready for a win. It's not that strong a race. Do you, could you see him going all the way here? Oh uh, yeah, 20, 25 or twenty six hundred there. It sort of suits him down a bit more. Um, his run last start, as you said, was quite good. Um, but yeah, we'll just be driving for a little bit of luck, and then if they sort of back off, we could probably pop around and make a race of it. But other than that, we'll just be uh, sorting it out and trying to finish as close as we can. On Monday at Pinjarra, you're driving, you got me in the first. This horse has been uh, all around the mark in the place getting and just behind. Uh, not an overly strong field. Suitable race for this one? Yeah, um, his race, his run last start was quite well. We sort of drew eight and um, couldn't get off till late and he flashed home. So that was quite well. If we can come out the gate and get a nice handy spot, well, we should be pretty close to uh, running in the first three. Harper Grace is in the mare's drawn the pole. This horse has been crying out for a barrier draw for Dave Thompson. Main danger is Palomino drawn the outside, but uh, from one, you'd be pretty confident? Yeah, uh, we'll be definitely trying to hold up in this one, I'd say, without speaking to Tomo, but going on recent form, that looks like what we'll be doing, and she's uh, ran some quite good miles, and hopefully uh, we can get away with a little bit and just dash home and be too good for them. Gran Torino's uh, for Dave Thompson as well. It's been racing really well. You drove it to win two starts ago. Showed a bit of pace on that occasion. Not that fast a front line. Would uh, think about maybe the chance of going forward? Oh, there's every possibility there, but we uh, did kind of go back last start, so we'll sort of just suss it out on the day, and um, hopefully we can get a nice little run. He's sort of better saved up a little bit, and then coming home, and he usually hits the line quite well. Better party resumes, barrier three, good race, majorly foxy sticks, better rules and uh, also horses like uh, he's right here right now in deluxe edition. Uh, first up, has uh, Greg or Sky spoken to you about how the horse is regressing? Uh, they, they haven't spoke to me uh, too much but uh, I believe there should be a fair bit of pace on in, in this race with the, the one horse drawn one and hopefully we can just get a nice little soft run and he usually hits the line pretty good in, in, at, towards the end of it. Four Grinners drawn barrier nine, been going quite well. Our winner four and three starts ago, putting two wins together. Last start seventh, hit the line pretty well. So not a bad draw for him? Yeah, no, he sort of just uh, recovered from a bit of an injury there, Greg said. So last start it was uh, kind of a nice run for him. He just tucked away on the fence and finished off. He was sort of held up for a bit of a run. But hopefully we can just get a nice cuddly run here and be hitting the line quite well. And uh, my good deed, a new one from the New Zealand uh, stables for uh, Greg and Sky Bond. In the standing start, uh, have you heard much about this one? I haven't heard much from them, Matt, but uh, usually if they get one over here and get it racing pretty quick, it should go quite well. So hopefully we can step it and uh, be right in the finish. We'll watch the market for that one Tuesday. A few drives there. Over the 2600, Zachariah resumes in a pretty uh, winnable race. A nice four-year-old uh, heading towards possibly the Nugget or even the just a Golden Nugget consolation. He's a nice type, but uh, this looks a suitable race for him. Yeah, no, as you said there, Matt, he's uh, dropped back with the claim there. He, he is ODM, so he wasn't able to get a quality draw, which Greg and that would have liked to. But um, hopefully we can uh, overcome that and be pretty strong towards the finish. Ergo has drawn the pole in race number four. This horse is second up from a spell. Mixes its form a little bit. Jackson Fellow has drawn to your immediate outside with a bit of pace. Uh, look for the soft run, maybe in each way. Yeah, I sort of suss that up with Ray. He's a pretty good trainer, so we'll just sort out what he wants to do. But as you said, Jackson Fellow has been going quite nice, so we'll just suss it out on the day and hopefully we'll be uh, in the finish. And Wild Power Jr. in race six, drawn two outside of Ironlight Hunt. It's got a bit of pace, first up from a spell. He's a nice front runner. 
yeah, hopefully we can cross the Imelot Harder there. He's, Imelot Harder is more suited to a sit, so hopefully we can get out and sort things out there and be in it towards the end. Well, best of luck over the weekend, mate, and uh, hopefully a few winners there, and best of luck tonight. Thank you very much, Matt.